Hello, good evening. Today we meet again with new update of my ultimate TU8900 project. So I have completed building the cathode resistor array. This is basically a bunch of Synco 2 watts tantalum resistors setting up in this kind of uh, set of PCB. I built this PCB a uh, custom PCB here. Okay, before we continue, I would like to share a bit about the PCB. I ordered this PCB quite some time back. I ordered in the in the bulk packaging. I ordered them quite amount of the quantity because I think in order to meet the minimum order reasonable price so I order quite a lot so I think it can be used for other project so here's the PCB let us take a look a bit uh, this is the PCB I built for this project it is quite thick about two millimeters thickness let me see if I can increase the light a bit it's a two millimeters PCB. It's quite thick, and this has two ounce of copper trays, and it's quite wide. I think the copper tray is about two milli, uh, sorry, five or six millimeters. I don't know if you can see the reflection here, but I think yeah, this is about five or six millimeters it has double side of course so the idea is i hope i can get double of the copper trace because i'm using two ounce in this side and another two ounce on the back side so i hope you can see the reflection here The PCB quality is quite good. Usual stuff. The quality is good. I built a bit around in the corner. So it is nice. So it will be able to accommodate 12 resistors in parallel. And it has a two big hole in here. I think about two millimeters. The idea is to connect this board to the other board for series configuration. So two millimeters should be enough to use a thick gouge of copper wire or silver wire. And then I hope it can lower the resistance. Although it's not by much, but it's always nice to have a bigger hole in order to accommodate a bigger wire, either copper or silver. So yeah, here's the PCB basically order quite a lot and I think it should be good enough interesting PCB to accommodate my usage here so let's go back to the main video covering the whole uh, build of this Synco cathode resistor So yeah, I choose white to make it a bit kind of a unique color combination. You can see here it is a red aluminum rod, uh, purple tantalum resistor, Synco, and white PCB, like this. Should be quite interesting to see this kind of a color combination. So I'm using like total 11 plus 9 plus 9 of resistor so total 39 of resistors it should be giving me like 58 watts of power dissipation rating because you know cathode is quite hot by default actually Elekit is using 15 watts so I'm kind of quadruple 
the power rating to almost 60 watts. It should be more than enough to accommodate the requirement. Nothing much in here, so you can see two millimeter thick of PCB should be strong enough. So I'm using this aluminum rod, red colors. Quite fancy one, quite interesting. And you can see the 1.6 millimeters copper OCC wire from Yamamoto, Japan, I believe. Long time back. I purchased it long time back. I used to to kind of maximize the transfers and lower the resistance. And I think, yeah, basically this is it, right? Uh, we will see the circuit will be like uh, coming from the left to the right so total will be around 800 ohms let's make sure if we can get the quite accurate resistance let me pull my multimeters so i'm using my sanwa multimeters so let's see if you can see the display correctly so let me arrange it and let's connect it. Yeah, we can see around 827 kilo ohms. Uh, sorry, 0 0.8 kilo ohms, 820 ohms. So kind of fit the expectation. You can see here 827 ohms. So they're more or less uh, good enough with what we need. 820 ohms on the data sheet the original one actually about 820 so we have quite close and of course we will get like almost 60 watts of power rating it should meet uh, my original spec of this elegant so yeah i think nothing really much after this you should also know that i'll be using uh, blackgate capacitors for the capac uh, cathode capacitors bypass this is the rubicon blanket 100 volts 330 microfarad non-polar this is quite rare item normally you will be seeing the non-polar blankets in the red sleeve this one in the black sleeve very unique hard to get but one of the very outstanding capacitors for 300p quite rare item of course i don't think we can get this one easily anymore but nevertheless this is one of the well priced capacitors for 300b circuit tube amplifier you can also try the blackgate nh uh, configure them in the super e but this is definitely one of very serious one. You don't have to use Super E because the size is, is quite big, 330. And I'll be using this to bypass the Synco cathode resistors. Hope we can get a great sound that we are looking for from this kind of ultimate uh, parts. So I guess this is a quick update for today. I'll let you know when I'm progressing more with the chassis, which is that the most difficult parts, but I'm pretty sure we are heading to the right direction. So I plan to mount this on the side of the chassis. So you'll be, you'll be like uh, seeing this group of Synco resistors mounted on the side of the chassis. So I'm thinking it's going to be a great looking design but anyway please stay tuned and wait for a moment before we can get the complete build of this amplifier so again thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you bye, -bye.